Look at the ocean. You want it to be clean and have some waves to it. Today it's windy and flat. <laughs> so it's like not the conditions you want. I've seen bigger waves in my toilet bowl, but we'll get out there. Holy cow, out of nowhere! <laughs> Make it happen. Look, this is a little wave actually. Now, yeah, this is actually not a bad wave. Surfing can put you in situations you just can't mentally. Yeah. Like there's some times where if it's big and the waves are breaking and you're losing all your energy, right? You're tired, you have no choice but to keep going, otherwise mm -hmm. you drown. I've even said my goodbyes to my parents one time under the water. <laughs> I was like a little kid, I got sucked out, my leash broke, I didn't have my surfboard. And the waves were just crashing one after the other and I, and I let go and I was like, all right, take me. <laughs> I, I, I tell God, I'm like, God, tell my parents I love them, <laughs> you know? And I just felt my dad's hand, he just pulled me out the water, you know? Oh and I was God. like, man. In Jiu Jitsu, you can always tap, you know? And the match yeah, is over. Yeah. Here you can't tap. So you get put in like a dangerous situation, you gotta figure it out. Surf to train in 45 seconds. It's kind of cool. I like training like this a lot. Shaded, we're outside. Get fresh air. You know, you're in the elements. Oh, we got to do it one more time. Right now we're just, just staying creative, staying sharp, having fun. The thing about jiu-jitsu and just grappling and things like that is I could literally grab you right now and we could do something you know what I mean like some sort of drill or stuff even all day at the house we'll just find each other to shadow boxing with each other that's the cool thing about a one-on-one -on -one sport like this you can always just you know grab a friend a brother a mom a dad and just you know get to work so you just need your carbon copy win exactly you your carbon copy twin and, and no excuses <laughs> People don't understand how to, to use their energy like wisely. It's crazy because what separates the best of the best from who don't quite make it is that. <laughs> It's the same thing with surfing. Like you see like Tanya try to make it out the back compared to me trying to out the back. And it's because I know when to paddle hard and when to just relax. And Tanya's just there like Ugh. every paddle is 100%, you know? And it's the same thing for jiu-jitsu. Like people like will start the first two minutes. Like what do I do? And then like a minute and a half. Or, <laughs> you're already coughing and shit. And energy management is a skill in its own. It's one of the hardest things to get good at. That's the game out there. It's, the, it's a game of energy, you know? You guys want to go up? One more, just a regular sprinkle. For the most part, we eat pretty good, I'd say. It's all about keeping the balance, right? Work hard, cruise hard, and, and same thing with the food. like. You can't eat good 24-7, you know? So, like yeah. I said, we get first thing, we get donuts in the morning, and then we're gonna complement that with a nice green juice. I tell chicks, like, oh, I got this from a shaman in Indonesia. Oh, yeah. well, this is like a raw special. <laughs> <laughs> we were in public school till we were like fourth grade, I think, y'all. Yeah, fourth grade. The last time we were in public school, I did little class bullies. I, I remember this is what happened. You he school. pushed you, right? And then boom, you pushed him back. And then you said something like, push me again. And then he pushed you. And then that's when you went. Yeah, I timed you, it, yeah. You timed it. Yeah. 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 No, he, I was a little kid, you know? And he was like this like big kid, you know? And so I was like, push me. And I, like, I go like this. And I was just waiting for his arms to come up. I remember this day. And I go like, boom! <laughs> I just timed it so perfect. 
Jeez. That was back before I even knew how to shoot a blast off wood. <laughs> it was like way bigger than him too. Way bigger than him. Yeah. Or I think I threw a punch or something and it hurt like my hand, so then I went to elbows. I'm like, boom! I'm like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. Do we have the cups? You wanna do some cups? Do we? I could use them. My I thought we lost the cup part. Try to take our recovery real serious around here. You know, Ken and I are doing a lot of surfing training, a lot of stuff that's, you know, getting our, especially our joints, you know? So whatever is uh, allowing our joints to kind of move freely and feel good and then also uh, give us that, that, that sustained energy that we need, you know? I've been doing the go a lot, this Jocko go, and I've just been feeling such like a mental cognitive boost. It's unreal, you know, staying super sharp and it's been feeling me, you know, throughout the day, so. Don't, don't kill that water, don't kill that water. We need to go get some more water. It's the most annoying when you have that clump on the bottom and you're trying to like shake it, it won't come out. <laughs> we just got the super set right here. Vitamin D3, the Cold War. This like the immune support, respiratory health. Combat X, testosterone optimizer. <sighs> gotta have that, right? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Stay natural, but it doesn't mean we gotta keep our, our, tea, our tea low. <laughs> Ooh, this one might be a little rich, boys. A little dense. A little dense <laughs> <in my> <laughs> might be a little flavorful. <laughs> Super stoked on all this stuff. 